Hello, gardeners. It's Cheryl Tally Moss here, coming to you from Cheryl's Organic Food Forest. We have beautiful weather today. It was about 72 degrees in Mesquite, Texas. So, this is part two of my acclimating or hardening off my plants. As you can see right there, I have the longevity spinach soaking up the sun and the wind. This is the second day. Yesterday I had it outside for half an hour. Today everything will stay out for 45 minutes. And tomorrow I'll have everything out soaking up the sun and the elements for an hour. And every day after that, they will be outside for an hour to two hours. Everything that you're looking at here was grown from seed or from a cutting. I have lots of California giant zinnias. And I will be putting them all around the food forest to attract pollinators. I have a lot of herbs. This one that you're looking at now is a flower, a chamomile flower. I drink the tea. Uh, it's very soothing and calming, and I try to have a cup at night, but I didn't plant enough last year, so I made sure that I would have plenty this year to dehydrate and to use throughout the year. Here are some of my tomato plants. I showed you guys some of them yesterday. Um, I decided to go ahead and pot up some of them into three gallon pots. Eventually they will go into raised garden beds or five gallon or more containers. I brought the tiny Tim heirloom cherry tomatoes outside today. These only will stay out for 30 minutes because it's the first time they've been outside. But my grand angel Bria and I have been enjoying the uh, ripe uh, cherry tomatoes. These are a determinate type of uh, uh, miniature tomato plant. This is the tallest it's going to get and they the rest of the tomatoes will be harvested within the next month. Now you're looking at three uh, early girl mortgage lifter or beef steak tomatoes that I uh, potted up before I bring them outside. They were just leaning a little bit too much in the smaller uh, container. Those are some strawberries. I decided to try something different this year. I dug some of the crowns up from that bed uh, this winter because I did a lot of research and I found out I didn't really need to have to, have to uh, cover them with uh, greenhouse plastic and a hoop house. So I just put a lot of leaves on them and they did very well. That plant I just picked up is a lemon pepper and a lot of more uh, California giant zinnias along with African sunflowers. Those are gonna be a beautiful rust burgundy color that will complement the regular sunflowers. I just held up a uh, Minnesota midget cantaloupe. I love those because you don't have to worry about when it's time to, take, uh, to harvest them. They will let you know because once the uh, melon is completely ripe, it will just fall off the vine. You're looking at some more uh, herbs, dill, I'm picking up, which will be sure to attract a lot of pollinators. Uh, Mexican petunia, those will actually grow into a very large bush. So those are gonna look really nice, those violent colored flowers around the food forest. Again, another African violet sunflower. And these are my Chinese melons. I paid eight cents for those seeds on eBay. Chinese melons. And they're doing very well. More tomatoes. That one was given to me. Uh, the person, the merchant that sent it to me, didn't know the name of it, so I just named it Gift. 
and we'll see how it does. I've had those seeds for several years. These are sunflowers. I think I broke some of the stems, bringing them in and out of the house, but it's okay because I plan to direct sow some seeds. You're looking at uh, rainbow glass corn over there in that corner, and also some uh, nasturums. I don't know how to pronounce that flower. It was the first time I planted it last year. I want to give a shout out to uh, a lady in my garden group named Mercedes Herman. I had difficulty trying to uh, germinate those seeds and she told me to soak them in some tea and it did the trick. It took two weeks for them to germinate last year, but this year it only took two days. So thank you very much, Mercedes. I'm preparing those trays right there to direct sow some peas, sweet peas, or sugar snap peas um, tomorrow. And right here are my favorite fl uh, flower of all time, the Texas Star Hibiscus. I owned a skincare company for 10 years where I made homemade, handmade, organic and natural hair and skincare products. And I always chose a hibiscus as my logo. Here are some more tomatoes, some more tomatoes and oregano. I heard that oregano is supposed to be a very good uh, tea to drink, has some good healthy uh, qualities that will help regulate uh, uh, your blood uh, flow to your heart. If I'm mistaken, if I forgot that confused, please charge it to my head and not my heart. Here are some sugar uh, apples I showed you guys the other day that had the cinnamon on it. And these are the uh, large basil large uh, bouquet basil. Uh, herbs. I'll be putting those throughout the area where I transplant my tomatoes. Some more Mexican petunias and oregano. And here is a giant red bell pepper. I love those bell peppers. I have some yellow ones, green ones, red ones, and they're all heirloom seeds. We're we'll looking at more tomatoes. These were out yesterday for 30 minutes. Again, I'm increasing the amount by 15 minute increments, so they'll be out here for 45 minutes today. And that's a parsley that I propagated from um, plant I had outside last summer. And as you can see, I'm cleaning up the plant. I don't shoot a video after I clean up everything. I come to you and I show you exactly what I have and I don't try to make everything look like everything is growing perfectly in the garden because that's just not real. Right there, you're looking at okra and here are my purple cone flowers, another bee attractor. And I'm growing something new for the first time. Uh, I'm not going to pronounce it. I heard people say borage or barrage. Whatever it's called, it's supposed to be good for bees too. And right over here, I still have some more plants. It's a uh, St. John's Ward it's supposed to be a good mood stabilizer if you're nervous or you're um, having a mood swing. You can drink that tea and it's supposed to mellow you out. I've never grown it before. I thought I would try it. Here are the little um, lemon drop marigolds that I'm going to place all around the garden to deter uh, insects. That celery right there, milkweed was next to it on the left side. And I have also some... Uh, dwarf marigolds and I have peppermint and I guess that's spearmint in the back there and some more milkweed. Now at the bottom these are the last seeds that I'm germinating and that's eggplant 12 cells of eggplant because eggplant needs a lot of heat so they probably won't go outside until May and she and I just held up um, uh, I'm sorry dandelion weed as well as uh, winter thyme well guys, this is the conclusion of how I acclimate my plants and seedlings out to the outside environment. I hope I've taught you something, something that you can use uh, with your gardening. Um, so have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.